Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord, I hope that you're having a fantastic day, and in today's video, we're actually going to be taking a look and talking about the all-new port to fort weapon, or I guess grenade, that is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very, very soon. This should be a very interesting grenade, and it should definitely change up the way everyone plays. Uh, before we actually get into the video talking about this, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches guides videos and even some giveaways when I can afford them. Other than that, yes, like I said, we are looking at the brand new grenade. Of course, this grenade, when you actually throw it down, will create a little base for you guys to actually hide in and this is going to be especially useful for the people who can't necessarily build when playing the game, the people who find it hard to build. And not only that, but there may be some crazy stuff that you can do with this grenade that nobody even could have anticipated yet So we just kind of have to wait until we see the first little bit of gameplay But um, yeah, I thought it was very interesting that they decided to add this uh, this actual uh, Grenade into the game as it was actually leaked around about two or three months ago And uh, I believe I made a video about it a long time ago talking about it including some even better kind of weapons that are meant to be added to the game very very soon. I'm actually going to be going over a lot of leaked weapons and grenades and consumables that may actually be in the game sometime very very soon. Uh, but before we do that, I'm actually just going to talk about this for a second. So basically what I think this may be is judging by the actual grenade itself, you can see that on the grenade it has this little kind of like, I guess it's like a, it's a symbol that there is a little fort and I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the actual symbol itself, it's got a door at the front, it's built up by two blocks, and it also has these kind of ramps coming from the top of it, so that I assume you can walk around on top of it, which is pretty interesting. Now, I don't know whether you'll be able to, like, put this onto any kind of surface. I mean, will you be able to throw it on an, an existing fort and make it even bigger? Or will it be available only to the floor? Uh, we don't know about it yet, but it's actually very interesting to kind of speculate about this because there's a lot of uses for this depending on where you can throw it down. You know, I mean, one of these things would come especially useful in places like, I guess, Loot Lake, when you're in the middle of the lake and you're trying to jump across or whatever, and next minute there's a couple of guys shooting at you, you can throw one of these down and that is definitely one of the better places to throw one of these bad boys down. I swear to God, it will be pretty interesting. Not only that, but will it take time to build or it will will it like instantly build and be there? Or, or, or will people be able to shoot it down straight away depending on how long the build time is or something on it, you know? So, I don't know. It's very interesting. Other than that, I did kind of want to talk about the fact that this was leaked a couple of months back. I remember when this was leaked and I made a video, people were bashing me like crazy like this is not gonna be a real thing are you stupid you're an idiot and blah 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 but yeah it seems that this was actually in the game files around about three months ago and it got leaked that long ago and there's a load more things that I actually want to share with you guys in this video right now because I know for a fact that some of you guys may be new to the game or just may not know about these items that are actually in the in-game files as of right now. So what we're going to do is use Stormfield 1's database right now to go and check out all of the existing things that are in the in-game files that may come to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime in the future. The first thing we're actually going to be seeing is the airstrike laser. This is actually classed as a consumable item for some reason. I don't know why, but this was leaked a long time ago. Uh, basically what happens is you point it at the floor and it will send around about six rockets down at wherever you pointed the laser. So a very interesting weapon, but considering that it is a consumable, is very, very confusing. Other than that, we do have the Der Burger helmet, which is, you know, Der Burger, the kind of weird burger face with the tongue hanging out. Well, basically, this is going to be a consumable item that you can use only once that will basically uh, go on top of your helmet, and if somebody tries to headshot you, it will actually allow you to live if it would normally kill you. So basically, like, it grants you immunity from one shot of critical damage on your head, which is very, very confusing. I don't know why they would add something like that in, to be honest, but, you know, whatever. Now, not only that, we do also have this thing called Backpack, and basically, it does what it says. It increases your inventory size. Now, I'm not too sure if this is actually going to be a real thing in the end. I hope to God it isn't. I mean, I don't want anyone having extra inventory space. I mean, God, have you ever came across some 
anyone who's holding like four rocket launchers. Imagine them holding six, you know what I mean? It's 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 insane. Um, other than that, we do also have a beehive grenade. Unfortunately for many of these items, there is no actual item kind of icon. It's only like weird little icons. Uh, and that was what the, you know, that was what the uh, Porta Fort was originally. Like if we just kind of scroll down right here, the Porta Fort grenade was actually called one of three things. So the first thing it was, was called a pop-up grenade. And it basically just says cover in a bottle. But other than that, it was actually called um, I believe it was called something else. Where is it? Insta Tower. That was what it was called. That was one of the names that the Porta Fort was almost called. It was almost called Insta Tower. And yeah, it didn't really have an icon or anything like that. So yeah, most of these things will not have icons, guys. Just to let you know. But anyway, going back, we have the Beehive Grenades. This is still a possibility. It will obviously cause damage over time to the player that you throw it at. And maybe even track onto them and kind of attack them over time. Which would be very, very OP. Other than that, we've got Big Poppy, which is a self-inflating balloon that demands personal space. I'm basically assuming that this is going to be a balloon that you pop to fly instantly in the sky really high up so that you can kind of skydive down again to. Um, other than that, we don't know anything about this, so I can't really talk about it that much anyway. Then we have an item called the Bottle Rocket, which is actually in the player versus enemy game mode, and it's basically a... Hmm, how do I even say this? It's like a grenade tube where you put a grenade in and it shoots over to wherever you point it to. There's an actual name for it, but I cannot remember. I think it's like a mortar. I think it's like a mortar strike. Yeah, that is what the bottle rocket is and that is what it would look like on screen right now. Now, apart from that, we do have a Concussion Mine, which deals damage and slows nearby enemies when triggered. I assume that this would be some sort of grenade that you would put on the floor, kind of like the C4, but as soon as someone goes near it, it would instantly activate and kind of slow them down and deal them a little bit of damage over time so that you can actually get the shot off at them. This was actually rumored a long, long time ago, but we haven't heard anything about it, so I really don't think they would add something like this into the game. I don't know, they, you know, never say never, but personally for me, I just couldn't imagine something like that being in the game. Now this next one is very, very interesting. It's actually called Golden Ticket, and what this would essentially do is it would put you back on the battle bus and let you redeploy anywhere, anytime throughout the game if you have the Golden Ticket. That, to me, is really OP, to be honest. I don't understand why they would be thinking about something like that, but, you know, yeah, it's it's very interesting. I would love to see them do something like this on, like, a limited time mode to just test how this would be in the game, but as of right now, I feel like if that was an actual thing in the game, that would be super OP. Crazy, crazy OP. Uh, moving on, we also have a grapple. You can see on screen the icon right now, and it says, has healing properties, get some health back. I don't know what that means at all. I cannot imagine them putting another health item into the game, so I don't think that is going into the game anytime soon, but you never know. Like I said, never say never. It's whatever. Now, this is an item that a lot of people have been asking for for quite some time, especially since the, uh, the vending machines actually came in, and it's called a Mimic Bomb. And this is a decoy chest, which you can actually place down, and whenever a player comes up to it and opens it, they will actually be hurt by this Mimic Bomb. It would be like a chest that would explode. It's kind of tricking the person, you know? So that, to me, is, like, really cool. I hope they add it into the game, but it would be kind of better if they did it as a, I guess, uh, like, like what is it? You know, the vending machines? Yeah, make it like a vending machine bomb instead of an actual chest because many people already know what where the chest spawns are and everything like that. And not many people actually know where the vending machine spawns are. So I would say a vending machine bomb would be a little bit more beneficial uh, nowadays in the actual game itself. This next one is called the Moab, and this launches a tiny rocket that makes a big boom. That is literally what it says, and it's essentially a nuke. It's essentially like a tiny nuke. To me, that's very, very crazy, to be honest. But you never know, it may actually come into the game, considering that we have, like, homing missiles and everything like that. That's, yeah, it, it's probably gonna come into the game sometime soon. So again, we have some more grenades here, and these two grenades are called slow grenades, and their icons have actually been updated, so I will be showing you the icon on screen right now, and it says here, create a zone of slow motion 
for all nearby players. I can imagine that they put something like this into the game because it would be really, really cool. Uh, and yeah, as you can see uh, on screen right now, the icon is actually something from Save the World. So it's basically like a placeholder icon. So something that they've put there until they come up with a brand new design. So that to me is a grenade that I would really, really enjoy if they added it into the game sometime in the future. Not only that, but we do have a sticky grenade, which hurls a grenade that sticks to whatever it hits. This could actually just be the C4 to be honest I don't really know but as you can see that is the actual icon logo right there as we're seeing that is genuinely what they had as a logo which is kind of a little bit weird but still you know looks pretty cool I would love something like that added into the game now the next thing that's been really rumored for a while here is the supply drop signal this is actually some sort of a thing that you can activate that will instantly send a supply drop onto your character's position so that you can open it up and kind of use. I really want this in the game. I hope that this is one of the next few things they add in because it's it's really interesting to be honest. And I, there's a lot more items to kind of go through. If you want me to make a standalone video about all of these things, guys, I will make it. But yeah, the last one that we're going to be looking at right now is the zip line. I would love if they added this into the game. To be honest, I really think they need to. I would love if there was random zip lines all across the map. It would just kind of make it fun for like everyone to get to one place to the other. And depending on how far you're actually able to shoot the zip line itself, you know. Uh, so anyway, guys, they are all of the items that have been rumored and leaked in the engagement. Game files for Fortnite Battle Royale. As you could see, you know, this port of Fort, I never thought it would happen. I thought, you know what, it's just an idea that they've had. They've put it into the game to test it. It'll never make it to the actual game itself. But here it is. We've got it. Next week or this week, we've actually got the port of Fort. So you never know. Any of these items that I've just told you about in today's video can happen and they most likely will just for testing purposes. Yeah, but anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like. Tell me what your favorite item is that is rumored to get into the game in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.